Hey guys, it's the Squid here and welcome to part 3 of the Let's Build video for the real great uh, gold frame Amatsumina. So today we'll be assembling the main torso, the head and just finishing off the main Gundam itself. Now, in the previous video, I did forget to do the shoulders so I did it off camera. As you can see, this is just a blitz arm so maybe if you buy two of these, you could make a Gundam blitz with some modifications here and there but hey. We are gonna start with the torso first. I got all the parts laid out finally. So yeah, I got all that done. So let's begin. So first we're gonna start off with the real great frame. And there's gonna be lots of twisting and turning here. Let's see what we have to do. So okay, our real great frame starts off like this. So okay, there's this nicer part and the not so nice part. So the square facing forward, as it says here, we're gonna push these two pistons down. Correct? Yeah, those two pistons down. Um and then we are going to push this forward or something. No, push these two forward. So I'm gonna just rotate these two swivels here and move this forward, I think is what they want us to do. I'm not sure it says something like moving it forward or something. I can't be sure. Uh, we'll see how it goes. So, yeah, okay, that's it. And then we have to take this piece here. And we're going to slap it onto the back like this, I would think. So this gold piece goes on the back like this. And this time I'll try not to like move off to the side too far. Try to stay in the center. So as long as my hands here, it should be fine. So, yeah, once again, I'm still recovering. So next we have to take both arms. Okay, I'm going to remove the shoulders first for this. Yeah, as you can see, I got this all decaled up. But the decals, yeah, they, they ain't so great. Uh, real great decals are kind of like that. So, let's see how this goes. So, we got this piece here, which will fit onto the blitz arm. Uh, let's have a look at the connection here. Right, so I think it fits onto the blitz arm like so. Is it like this or like this wait hold up let me check this all right this is slightly weird okay i'm gonna get this out again let's just try it out <sighs> okay okay so let's see this part is slightly confusing so you got this piece that will just go in like this all right what's the connection like so there's a bunch of teeth there i would assume goes on like so I'm not so sure how this goes but all right um this is going to be slightly this is going to take a while all right so I know the arms are going to fit on like so but how is this going to fit on that is the question here is it just uh, here or what? All right, so we're gonna try this first. So it then wants us to attach this in, and this I would assume. All right, it's kind of loose. I don't know if it's supposed to hang loose. Um, it's not that clear actually. Because the armor kind of slots onto this part, so it's gotta just pop on somewhere else. Right, right. We're gonna leave it like this for now. If it's supposed to go in somewhere, it will tell us, I would assume. So, yeah. Not sure how this is gonna work yet. And then I'm gonna do the same for the other arm. I'm gonna bring this here. And then just push it back. So, let me try to get this in here. The thing about real grids is that they can be quite confusing at times. So we have something like this with these two parts that are kind of wobbling. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it goes on anywhere. So rotate this part to move the arm back and forth. Okay, got that. So it doesn't seem like this part goes anywhere in particular. Just seems to dangle there loosely. Like not nothing's holding it up. So, okay. Then next, we will be putting the cockpit together, so you'll need this piece here, uh, this small gold piece here. Right, let's get, let me sit comfortably first. 
and it goes on like so I would assume so let's bring it close so it will pop on let's have a look here so I kind of do see the attachment so I think it just slides on here like that and yeah it's kind of like that so let's give let's focus here yeah it's kind of cool then we're gonna get this attachment here which I did not paint because I know it will be hidden so there's not much point in painting it and then we're gonna just clip it on here there we go there's no sound but it's okay it should hold pretty well so we do have this now and then gonna attach it onto this piece okay that's pretty interesting uh, so we're gonna push this gold piece all the way back first so I assume this would create an opening cockpit and then we will uh, attach it here so let's see if I can get it in right so I think it goes in like this it should be something like this and then it slides onto the body like so and yeah we got this this uh thing now i don't know if it's secure let's oh it's not secure okay we're gonna get this in here first ah there we go there we go okay that's more like it and next we're gonna take these two pieces here and attach it onto the side i would think so we're gonna bring both arms up first and we'll see how this attaches on i would assume it's from the bottom so there are two pack connections there as you can see there's two holes there and two packs at the bottom of these two gold pieces so um okay i'm guessing it's from so this is for this side and then it just simply attaches on like so um all right let's check uh, like so so it'll create that kind of look that's pretty nice the classic s3 frame look so we're gonna put this do the same for the other side let's get that in as well oops sorry if i hit the camera all right, all right. calm down there we go all right so we got those two pieces in so that is pretty cool and then we got these pieces here which we have to attach onto here so there's a peg here i don't know if you can see it on that black piece there and it's a little slot here and you'll just see oh all right i'm gonna stop hitting the camera all right because it's really close uh i may have the i do have the tendency to hit the camera sometimes by accident so it just fits on here like that Okay, loving the color scheme on this uh, kit so far. So there we go. Still not sure how these two parts are supposed to go on. They seem pretty loose. I don't think they're supposed to be that loose. I would think. Uh, yeah, but it doesn't say that they attach anyway. It just says like slide on. But we'll see, we'll see. And then next we are going to take these two parts here. Each threes and then we're gonna slide it onto the side so we're gonna lift the arms up first and then we are gonna just slot it on like so giving it the estray torso look we're going for so there we go that's pretty nice pretty nice and next we're gonna build this small attachment here which uses this small black piece and red piece so the black piece is facing this way and the red piece just slides on top so okay so it's like this and then it just pops on like this i would think yeah like that there we go that's more like it and then it will so this will serve as the this part it's kind of like a belly button thing so hey we got that done that's that looks pretty good pretty sleek love the designs of the ashtray and then next we're gonna just attach this red piece into this gold piece so we've got it like so and then it's just gonna you can see there's a little hole there in the center and there's this peg here and it just basically just 
simply fit on like that. Uh, let's see how it goes. Right. Okay. Uh. Okay, we gotta land this perfectly, unless I'm attaching it the wrong way around. I think so. Yeah. There we go. That's that's more like it. There we go. That looks pretty nice. And it's simply gonna go attach on top of this here, I would think, like that. There we go. Hey, the board, the torso is looking slightly more complete there. And then just gonna cap it off with this piece. So gonna just put this on here, and oh, this piece seems to have stuck on, but I'm not sure why this piece isn't. Unless it's supposed to just hold on tight there, but I'm not sure. And then we got this small piece, which has, which will be put on the neck here. So I think it kind of goes on like this, and that's pretty cool. It's pretty nice detail. So there we have the main torso, and I think we can just simply uh, slap on the shoulder armor again. And hey, there we go. There's the torso done. There we go. Sorry if I went out of frame a bit, but there's the torso. Let's have a quick look around. It's pretty nice. I'm just gonna simply just slide this onto the body first. Let's get this put on here. There we go. All right, that's that's looking kind of great. Gotta decal that up after the video, but it's okay. But now let's get onto the head. So for the head, we're starting off with this piece here. Correct, yeah, and then gonna get these two gloss black pieces that will go on. Let's have a look. All right, it's gonna have to go on here. So, all right, I see how this works. All right, got it. And I gotta stop it in the camera. This is getting a bit frustrating, but it's gonna be like this when you build real grid sometimes because real grids are meant are kind of tough so we're gonna get that kind of look i guess don't know if you can see that but it's a pretty cool look i know there'll be some nut marks here and there but do try to ignore it first okay then we got this gold piece here which is like this and then we got this black piece here which is like this and we'll just fit on like so there we go i think it's like this aha there we go that's pretty nice and i think it just slides onto the back of this piece which then slides into that piece and i'm shaking the camera again and this piece just fell off it's kind of frustrating. Oh. And it, okay, just hold up. I'm gonna just bring this out for a while so I can get this settled. Right, there we go. Got it fixed. Once again, suffering from a bit of a cold, so it's not gonna sound that great. But hey, we finally got it on after quite a few tries. So there's the head. It's gonna look pretty nice. Lots of pieces on this head, though. So next, we're gonna put on this uh, face plate. Here, which is extremely tiny, like this, and it's really detailed, nice look, as you can see there. Really good look. Love that look. I dig it. And then we have this other black piece here, which will slide onto the bottom, I think. So it just slots onto the bottom, giving it this kind of chin that hooks up. Pretty nice. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Not judging anything, it's pretty cool. Really love this look. So then we have this clear blue piece which we have to put on the stickers. So let's get the uh, sticker sheet here. Right, they don't come with the complete sticker set, but we got these rather these ones that I'm gonna use that are pre-colored already. So let's try to get that out if I can. I know I should be using tweezers, but Usually, I just use my hands to pull them out it's much easier, so... Alright, how is this gonna fit on? It's gonna fit on like this. Alright, I'm gonna bring this back a bit, so... I can do this properly, so that... I don't mess up the eye stickers. 
but it should be some it should look something like this I would assume so I'm gonna bring up the other one as well and do it behind the camera so I can have an easier time doing it so let's bring this back again sorry if you guys can't see me applying the stickers but hey, it's just it's just the stickers nothing too much so alright and the other sticker just came off doesn't they don't want to stay on that well I noticed that these real great sticker eye stickers usually want to pop off quite a lot so let's have a look at that uh, yeah it looks pretty cool kind of far apart but it should be okay and then it's gonna be slapped onto this part here which will look like this there we go that looks pretty cool i know the eyes aren't centered okay i'm going to try to bring this up a little bit let's try to bring this up there we go that looks slightly better all right and then next we got this assembly to build so we got this piece here and this piece here right so then this piece these two black pieces here uh, let's try to focus on that for a moment let you have a quick look at that there and then they're just gonna fit on top of each other i would assume something like this would happen so oh it's wrong piece uh it's the q piece first kind of got that mixed up my bad all right so it's these two pieces not that black piece here and then it's just gonna fit on if it wants to fit on doesn't seem like it wants to right okay 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 let's try to get that on again unless i'm doing it wrongly uh which i doubt so but okay what's going on here so it's gonna fit on like the ah i see i was putting on the wrong pets pack so there we go, it's kind of like this. Oh, it's kind of bending that a bit. So let's put this, push this in. There we go. And then it's going to be the red pieces here. But I think it's these two. Yeah, it's these two red pieces here. They're really tiny. So we're going to just put this on like so, I think. So there is uh, this kind of confusing thing about real grids is that they do get quite confusing at times. So let's see how this plays out. All right, so I'm going to have a look at this behind the camera first. You guys can have a look at the beautiful torso while I'm at it. All right, so it looks like this piece is going to just get inserted there. I would think it's like this, if I'm not wrong, but I don't even know anymore, right? Oh, I got it on the wrong way around, so it's supposed to be like this. It looks like this on the instruction manual, but yeah, I think it's... Alright, I'm going to stop here for a while and, con and meet you guys in a moment. So guys, I finally got it done. It was kind of tricky, but hey, let's get on with it. So they say there's supposed to be a small sticker there, but honestly, that sticker is going to be too small and it's going to drive me nuts to put it on. So we're going to just pass that for now. And that piece just fell off again. It's okay, I'll just fix that back on after this build. So next, we got these uh smaller parts to put on. As you can see, there's some pegs there, uh, which will let these things slide on i would assume something like that there we go that's that was much easier than the previous piece we tried to put on the gundam so let's put this on this time there we go i'm sorry this build is going to be much much longer but yeah this build isn't easy so Gotta just put that on. And uh, I think I'll stop the video here first because I gotta put that red piece back on. So anyways guys, this was this video did not go according to plan because of that tiny red piece which is an extreme pain in the ass to put on. But 
Anyways, I hope you did enjoy it. And if you did, please be sure to hit that like button and also comment down in the comment section down below, like some feedback, some tips, some advice, anything. And also, uh, please hit that subscribe button to show some support to the Squid channel. And also, if that's it, and I think that's it. So next part, we will put together the backpack. And yeah, that's about it. And this is the Squid blooping off.